Hi everybody, my name is Gethin Ellis of GethinEllis.com. In this short video today, I'm going to be talking about SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio is the client tool that you can use as an administrator or developer to work with SQL Server. Previous versions of SQL Server, SQL Server Management Studio has come bundled in with the SQL Server installation files. Since SQL Server 2016, this is not the case, and Management Studio is now a separate download executable that you can download from the Microsoft website uh, and install on the client of your choosing. I've downloaded the Management Studio application and I've copied it to a folder called SSMS on the C drive of the server that I want to install the, uh, the SQL Server Management Studio on. So I'm going to double click the executable. I'll wait a few Microsoft seconds for this to start up. We'll get the release screen. So we can see we've got Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, a click install to begin. I'm going to follow the instructions. I'm going to go through the install. This can be a little bit time consuming, so we'll probably just fast forward through this quite quickly. And then finally, when the install is completed, you can click close. When Management Studio has been installed, we can launch it from the start menu. So you can see I've gone to Microsoft SQL Server RC1, and then underneath that we've got Microsoft SQL Server Tools. I'm going to click on Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. That'll fire up the program, and it'll take a minute or two to run the first time. When Management Studio is started, we can connect to any of our servers that we've got um, a server name or an instance name for. In a previous video, we installed a default instance onto this SQL Server 2012 machine, and I gave the administrator login here, system administrator privileges against SQL Server. So if I hit on connect, we should connect to our SQL Server instance. And on the left-hand side here, we will have uh, a list of folders in Object Explorer. When you connect to a SQL Server in Management Studio, you will connect to something called Object Explorer. Basically, it's a view of the objects that exist on your SQL Server. So if I expand the database folder here, we can see there's two subfolders underneath, one called System Databases and one called Database Snapshots. Okay, Under the System Databases folder, we have Master, Model, MSDB, and TempDB. We'll talk more about these in a different video, but the Master Database is used for SQL Server and it's really important for the running of SQL Server. It contains things like server configuration information, logins, information about the user databases that are stored there. The model database is used as a template for when you create new databases. Anything that exists, any settings that are set in the model database when you create your new database, this will be used as a template and your new database will be created from it. So anything that exists in model will then exist in new databases as you create them. MSDB is used for the SQL Server agent. The agent is SQL Server's scheduling tool. It stores things in there about information in there about jobs, backup history. It's used quite extensively for replication as well. Uh, and TempDB is a scratch pad area for all of SQL Server, all of SQL Server's users. Temporary objects get created in TempDB uh, and they get destroyed in TempDB as well. It's used for both SQL Server and its users. TempDB is transient, which basically means every time the service is restarted, TempDB is recreated. So if you put anything in TempDB, it will be destroyed the next time the service restarts. The security folder allows us to manage security. We can create things like logins and server roles. We look more about that in a bit more detail in a different chapter. Uh, server objects allows us to manage things like link servers. Okay, and backup devices. There's a replication folder if we want to configure our server to be 
either a publisher, a distributor, or a subscriber. We can configure that using the replications folder. There's a little bit on Polybase there, which is, I guess, how SQL Server integrates with, with Polybase. Always on high availability is from here. We will configure and work with always on availability groups. This needs to be enabled before you can work with it, and we haven't enabled that yet. Again, we look at that in another video as well. So I'm going to right click on the databases folder and I'm going to choose a new database. And this will start a new database wizard. I'm going to call this MyDB. Okay, we get both a data file and a log file by default with when we create a new SQL Server database. One is going to store our data, the other is going to be the transaction log. Okay, we get to specify the initial size, how much it's going to grow by, in this case it's 64 meg, okay, and the location of our files. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. And I've created a database. Okay. I can also delete databases from here. So I right click the database I've just created. I go down to delete. I click on OK. There's no warning. There's no undo. There's no recycle bin. That database has been deleted. So if you do that with a production database, you're likely to lose all your data unless you have a good backup. We can issue new query windows from here. We can write some queries as well. So whilst this is just opening up, this will open up a new pane. Okay, I've got the master database there, so I will do select start from. So like a simple select statement, select everything from sys.databases. Click on execute. And it runs the query and it returns information from the uh, sys databases uh, DMV giving us information on each and every database that exists on that instance. In this particular case, I've only got the four system databases. Just note there, TempDB was created on the 24th of the 7th, which is today. The others have got different create times. Um, this create date will change each and every time SQL Server is restarted. There we go then, that's a brief introduction to SQL Server Management Studio. We will be working extensively with that tool in future videos. My name is Gethin Ellis, check out the website at gethinellis.com, subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos as they're released, and follow us on Twitter as well, at gethin underscore Ellis.